Welcome back to Vegas Live with Nina. And if you don't recognize this face, you're in trouble. Yeah, Absolutely you haven't totally. been watching. You, you haven't should been be watching, watching anything because you've got 5,000, 6,000 people come to my Facebook page and you circulated. 6,000 people That's circulated, good. but I only put you up two days. Yes, two days ago yeah, I put yeah, you yeah. up. Well, you don't want to you don't want to adv advertise too far in advance because yes. then people forget. They so. do. So he got. We're in, glad you're yeah. there, Facebook Live. And of course, this is Dirk, absolutely, totally famous in Vegas. Hey, yeah. How are you? Good to see you again. You're I'm gonna take a hug. I'm gonna take a hug. Well, I love this is my favorite much. show. I, I, you, you waited a year for me, but that's okay. I know. <laughs> that was like a, mis a mishap there. I know. It's that all was, good. It's so, what, what are you? Good? What are you drinking? I don't know. I'm not, I haven't got tea. one yet. I'm just drinking tea. I'm drinking diet beer. Yes. I'm trying to lose that last ten. Well, that last ten. So, there we go. And the pepper ten. mill as beautiful as always. Isn't That's the pepper great. mill fabulous? Of course, we're down there. The pepper mill was sitting in Elvis Presley's booth. And, and I just had another couple on that I don't know who they were. They just came. She was a producer, and they happened to have a son in the music business. So that's oh, wow. what we do a lot of the music stuff. That's nice. So what's going on with you? I understand you're writing a book. Have you written a book? Or I have a book is... coming out. Yes. Trying to get it out by the end of the year. Uh, the Devil and Dirk Vermin. Uh, the Devil's a lot of things, but uh, sometimes it's me. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, yeah, you're says, not I've the had, devil. I have had allergies all week. It's been well, a tough week. A tough, you need tough, to tough drink week. more. I know. I know. <laughs> that's, that's I hear it. I hear it in my my nose. It's like, okay, it's so sorry. You have talking about noses. He's got the perfect nose. Well, thank you. You got really. Well, he's not handsome, isn't he? Lovely? <laughs> You're too kind. You know the, the problem kind. is number one, he's too young for me. But number two, he's also married, I, I, and his wife is gorgeous. She, she is gorgeous. She is. She is she's gorgeous. gorgeous. She and left I, in a fit, but she's. Gorgeous. And I love to turn around and say that he's still married because mm. being in this town, it's hard to stay married. It is tough. You know, either one leaves or the other one leaves, but they seem yeah. to have this... Well, this Vegas, sort of, there's a lot of temptation in this town, that's for sure. Yeah, there is so, a lot, a lot yeah. of temptation. But, you know, Vegas is Vegas. I think it is the only city in the entire world that is what it is. Yeah. And it's, it all hangs Unapologetically out. Unapologetically so. <laughs> Las Vegas. So, anyway, sure. so what's, what's this book about? It's all about you and the devil. So, yeah, when I, I, I started the book... Let me turn my fucking phone off. Sorry about that. That's okay. Did it ring? I didn't. Let's see. Let's see who's texting me. Oh, it's my wife. <laughs> well, she does. Oh. Have, oh, she says, "Sweetheart, well, I love you." Apparently, oh, look at apparently, that. I'm not as married as I thought. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I'm just who's kidding. She, who's she know. with? <laughs> yeah, we're just Nobody. gonna. We're just gonna <laughs> we're turn just, that off. We're just I'm, hanging out. I'm Don't so worry about sorry. It. There we go. And there we go. There you okay. Go. Sorry about that. Uh, so. A few years ago, because yeah. I grew up in the punk scene here in Las Vegas, so I was starting working on a book about the punk scene in Las Vegas, and then I realized one day I don't give a fuck about the punk scene in Las Vegas. So, but what is the punk scene? What was it? They, we, we're talking mid to early '80s. Yes. Just growing up in the desert, we'd have desert shows. We'd take generators out to uh, you know the, the the middle of the desert by. And have shows on. Room. Yeah. And we yeah. just have a bunch of bands showed up. We play some punk rock, so it was a lot of fun. And as loud as you wanted to be, Absolutely. whatever you wanted to be. And like that was a long time ago. Turns out I don't care about a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> I care about now. Yes. So when I did television a few years ago, yeah. And the ordeal that I went through, it was worth documenting because I signed a contract that told uh -huh. me to keep my mouth shut. Well, and for you to keep, my, and Lord I knows, I don't like keeping my mouth you shut. You're not one to say, well, you know, don't talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I started kind of documenting what was happening because I, legally I needed to because I was being treated unfairly treated by the network. Unfair. Yeah, I'll, I'll be kind. I'll be kind. Treated um, unfairly. Treated, treated unfairly by the network. Fuck you, Annie. So then you talk about you and Trump. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not, not, a that's another story. not a fan. That's not a fan. Story. Not a fan. Not a fan. Oh, what you've done to this country, you son of a. Oh, awful. <laughs> so. Love it. Mm. Okay. So I started. I, I had like three different ideas for a book coming into play. So one was about growing up here. One was about the punk scene. Okay. And one was about television. So they all just kind of morphed Mingle together. Mingled together because that yeah. was your life in anyway. one book. In, in well, one book. So life. technically not an auto autobiography. Because I'd have to leave huge parts of the '90s out. Uh, uh, I want to hear some yeah, of those. 90s I was single stories. in the '90s. Oh, <laughs> so and living in Vegas. Living in Vegas and in a band, and then you know, yeah. So anyway, you, you we just know did. we know the story. We kind do, of. we do. Yeah, yeah. So this was more about uh, just excerpts from a life. Okay. You know, like this here. Th this happened. The, here. the book starts out. I'm I'm five years old and I'm in my in my bunk bed listening to 
radio and no 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 there was no punk yet so we're uh, the suite comes on ballroom blitz and i become obsessed so it's about music and about the obsession that that does and and the way that it carried through my life and then as i became a musician or at least a guitar player um you know what it what it was to like to grow up in in las vegas playing music and then ultimately the, get a, this yeah. is the music industry of the world so you will kind of well not for my music but <laughs> Yeah. So so then ultimately of course when you get a phone call from a television network. Oh yes. Well that's not everyone gets that phone call. No, they don't, no. Well I got that phone call. And fuck I should have hung up. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, I wanna have the story. Never mm. mind all of you out there. I want Yeah, have... so that and that really is a fascinating story. What happens to you when you say yes? to a contract. And then you sign the contract. You sign the contract. But you don't read it. No, the devil actually shows up for that contract signing, by the way. And it is in blood. That's how bad it was. So. It was that bad. It really was. But you didn't know when you were signing Man, it. There was nothing to know. Ignorance is bliss. Well, I, and, it, and, and I'm no time. victim. It, it's just when you sign that contract, the contract benefits the network as it of should. It, yeah, They're it, the one investing millions into a yes, show. Yes, but absolutely. you don't know what you're signing up for. You don't know that you're well, signing. You're how, literally signing. How old were you at this time? A few years younger. <laughs> I love it. He's just like I am. 39 and holding, ain't moving. <laughs> oh, I'm in my 50s. Yeah, oh, in my 50s. he's gorgeous. Early 50s, early 50s. Early 50s. So anyway, you signed this contract. So you signed a contract, the, and now... And now they own you. And that's, that's okay. understandably. Yes. Now, if the show does well, ultimately you would do well. The show Supposedly. did very well. But I was not a good employee. For, and what, so, for what reasons? Because I didn't did like the do? fake tattoos I was covering. I didn't like a lot of the bullshit that went on. Behind with, the scenes. Behind the had scenes. To present in front. Not that, I, I knew we weren't filming a documentary. I'm not, no, I'm not no, ignorant here. No, but... No. You know, it just, it was, enough was enough. I just wanted out. And they wouldn't let me out because I was under contract, so. How long was the contract? Uh, two years. Two, oh, it was quite two a years. long time. Yeah, and then a year after, you're not allowed to do anything. Say uh, anything. You, yeah, you can't, you, not only can you not say anything or do anything, you can't do any other television, you can't do I anything. Gonna, yeah. Because there's, there's a thing. year after the contract ends. Yes, and yeah. then so be it. Yeah. That was a while ago, yeah. so. What so I you wrote about that. Yeah, that's that's in it, and and that's yeah. a good and that's a really fascinating story, and that, and it really is. But the the thing that I'm doing this year, besides the book, is my new album. Oh, how wonderful! Dirk Vermin and the Hostile Talent, I Sweet Dreams it. from the Gutter. This comes out in April May. Sweet Dreams from the from gutter. the gutter. And do you write your own music? I write all my do own you music. Write yeah. all your own music. Absolutely. How do you get all the words, and how do you get it flowing out there as the way well, it just you want it? It just depends. But the the single that we're that we're promoting off the new record is called Destroy TV. So I'm not bitter. <laughs> You're just a little angry. <laughs> but but, de but destroy. This is a funny story. So. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my sinuses are fucked. Um, so in Destroy TV, I, I remember having uh, an interview with one of the executives at A&E, and, and then we're, and we'll start talking. He's telling me about what's about to happen. You're about to be famous. This is what we're offering you. And he says, to, yeah. So he says to me, so what? What's your dream woman? Who's the woman you would like to be with? Well, that's a funny and, and, question. And, 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 it was kind of funny because he, he's he's giving me levels of fame. Yeah. And I said, well, at the time, well, Charlize Theron. And he goes, well, maybe not Charlize Theron, but certainly Terry Hatcher. <laughs> <laughs> So that, that that's just showing me her star's rising, hers falling. You guys are gonna meet somewhere in the, in the middle. middle. And 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 I could and I never forgot that. So that line is actually in, in, in it's no, it's in the song. Oh, it's in the song. It's in the song Destroy T V. Uh, 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 coming out April May on so Squid Hat you, Records. So, so. so that, I love that. So yeah. when you do a song, you actually bring a lot of your life into it and what I do. Of, yes, I'm I do. Because if I don't exercise my demons, then I'm just drinking alcohol all day and Wait so how many demons do you have? Oh, 11. 11 <laughs> demons. <laughs> but I'm not going to say I want any of them because I, no, I don't want any demons. No, you don't. You don't. No, you absolutely don't. I don't, don't want don't, demons. Don't. No. I just want to know how did you acquire mm. them all? How do you acquire 11 demons? Well, you live in Las Vegas. <laughs> Well, I do too. We all sell our soul a little bit here in this town. We certainly do. So. Oh, yeah, we do? Yeah, we do. Oh, I haven't sold it yet. 
<laughs> the reason That's probably good. is, is nobody wants to buy it. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> see, ironic. Yeah, no. Oh, that you're good. You're good. A, a before I did television, <laughs> I did an article with uh, Vegas Seven magazine, mm -hmm. and I said to them something that was very prolific that I didn't or uh, prophetic or some or another word that I don't know, and they <laughs> asked me about selling out, and I said, it's easy not to sell out. When no one's asking. That's the same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Okay. You sell out all the time. The so box. as soon as they and he asked, I'm like, where do I sign? <laughs> where? Oh, here? Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. My whole career and everything that I am? You can have it okay. all. You my can... children, too? You got I'm it. I'm so oh. happy. Oh, my <laughs> integrity, my tattoo parlor. Oh, it's in the fine print. You don't know Good how enough. true this is because when you have this anticipation, yeah. I'm the greatest in the world. I do the best. I am the thing. It's like people say to me, Nina, people are trying to steal your show. And I said, they really want to steal my show? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. I mean, you know, that's yeah. like, that's like a compliment. Take it. <laughs> it's like, yeah. but you know, but, but to get out there and to be different and to do something is very hard. It takes yeah. a lot of energy. It takes it a lot does. of it takes a lot of sort of um, people can criticize you. I'm on a place. I'm on a platform where I can hear good and bad. Sure, sure. And I'm going to get good and bad right back. But I don't kind of listen to. Them. But I do learn by the bad. You do. Because, you do. But the one thing I will tell you, and this is huge, when. When Bad Ink was on the air, I was attacked, personally, in so many ways. I was attacked by critics, I was attacked by other tattoo artists, I was attacked by people who worked for me, who just saw what I was doing. But you weather it. Yes, you do. You, you weather it. So now, like people, hey, your show was fake, I go, yeah, no. <laughs> I know. I, I, I filmed that whole day, I'm fucking fully aware. But isn't that like <laughs> when you can turn around and say that, yeah, I know. Yeah. It was because as soon as you yeah. own it, if, if yes. you, because the, the network wanted me to have their back yes and and with their story and their story was fake because television's fake. fake so um when i said no and i and i just owned it we, <laughs> we would literally be filming on the strip and people go hey we love the show i go don't watch it don't watch it it's all fake the network sucks fuck them fuck them fuck them so it was just it was one of those those things where at the end of it all because i owned it yes i was able to get my integrity back my soul back, and that took two years. But, and you yeah. have to remember to own stuff you do. Yeah, I for mean, sure. You've for got sure. to own it because if, if, if yeah, but, but in the beginning, you, yeah. But in the beginning, you want somebody else to own it. So well, no, in, in the beginning, I mean, in the beginning, they're, they're offering you fame and fortune yes. and all these other things. Yes, and of things. course, you you, 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 know. you want that because. But sometimes when you are gullible for that because you're in that position, it could be a total disaster. Yeah. Which is what kind of happens. Yeah. To you. But, it just doesn't happen. Also, part. but wait a second. It's also an experience. Yeah. You know, this is just part of your life. I'm I mean, well, had, let's sell I a have book. Good, so there you go. <laughs> we're, we're gonna, and we're going to yeah. sell this book. Well, we I mean, the, yet, the book. So. The, trust me, the book ain't coming out till next year. But the 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 most uh, important thing I'm doing right now is my album, and that's okay. Dirk Furman, The Hostile Talent, Sweet Dreams from the Gutter. That comes and out. When is that coming out? A, end of April, early May. Okay. On Squid Hat Records, the finest record label in Las Vegas. That's nice. um, and it's good. Is it good? It's good because it's angry. You know, it's funny. So you're, when, you're blessing it all out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I work out a lot of demons on there, but but it's really it's really good. I'm very proud. Of this I've been playing music out here for 30 years, and in 30 years, this is the single best album I've ever done. Isn't that so? Lovely? I can't wait. Isn't that lovely to be able to sit there and, and love what you've done and what you yeah. have achieved, and all those good, bad, right, wrong experiences you have are coming out in a way which has come to perfection. Yeah. For you with this album, so don't forget to look out for this album. It oh, it'll amazing. be out soon. As soon as it comes out, I'll come back. Oh, I'd love so, that. Yeah, I would love that. Weeks, soon. Sure. Absolutely. And yeah. also, I want to know. You know, you might wonder why he's sitting here with all these tattoos. You're one of the greatest tattoos in town, aren't you? you I'm the single greatest tattooer in the history of this couch. <laughs> 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 you always have an answer. You're I always get some. He's, he's wonderful. Yeah, no, I, I, it's, but it's, he's got it's, all these tattoos. He's got tattoos. Look at everywhere. All everywhere. Over the place. They are everywhere. Look at this. Everywhere. They're got, literally oh, look, everywhere. Look, 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 look. They don't end. They, they don't end. They don't end. And then it, these are little scars. Oh, it, it's, it's, it's quite a journey, girls. Do you know what the greatest thing about dark? The greatest thing, you know, you're always laughing. You're mm. always happy. Are you always like this? Yeah, I kind of am. So yeah. you don't let the bastards get you. No, never, no. never, never. No. no. You so laugh it off. So you have a pretty cool life. Yeah, life's not bad. So what's the name of the know, tattoo store? Pussycat Tattoo, 4972 South Maryland Parkway. There we go. Come on by. You might, I'll tell you what. You go by, they're going to get a free tattoo. She's paying, not me. Yeah, I'm paying. <laughs> I'm paying.
I don't mean the whole body either. <laughs> Wait, you can get a butterfly as long as it's got a skull in it. We're there, good. There you go, Roger. We're that. good. Absolutely one. Well. Don't always a pleasure having you, you on. You too, on. My um, pleasure. I, love it. I missed great? you. I, I missed you. you too. Don't I wait 12 him. months. We'll no. be back no, we're gonna in be back six your... months. No, 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 for your album. Three months. Three months for his we'll album. Be back. He's we'll going to be come back. back before the album goes out. When we get it out there, we're going to be right back. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Nino.